What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Desk Talks. I'm your host, Patrick Bolaños. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for uh, being a customer of ours. If you are a customer, a food truck owner, concession trailer owner with Trailer King Builders, we really appreciate your support. Yeah. Today, I want to answer a very common question that we see in this industry and it basically is, should I start a food truck or a restaurant? Man, how to answer this question. I've been in the restaurant industry for about eight years, give or take, as a chief financial officer and I will say this, when it comes down to the food truck or the restaurant, the basics will be the same. It'll come down to how efficiently you're uh, creating your menu, how efficiently you're running your truck in terms of labor. Everything outside of that is gonna be different for a restaurant and food truck. So when it comes down to the numbers, make sure that you know your numbers, you understand how a food P&L works, how a restaurant P&L works, or a food truck P&L, meaning profit and loss sheet. So understanding your food costs, how you determine food costs, how you keep your labor controlled, and understanding prime costs and all that other good stuff. I will have more videos digging into the actual financials of a restaurant or food truck, which are essentially the exact same. But the question that we want to answer today, food truck or restaurant, okay? So you want to start a food truck, or let's say you want to start a food business. You're considering either going out and getting a lease on a building and having it built out from scratch, or somebody left a spot and you want to just come in and start using what they have or you wanna start a food truck. So what, what should you consider? Okay, the reasons I love a food truck as a startup for any food business is the ability to be mobile, the ability to change your location at any given time. So one of the first things I would recommend is never sign a long-term lease with a food truck. It's not necessary. Short-term leases might be a little bit more expensive for the food truck, right? But never, 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 never lock yourself to a lease that won't allow you to move for a long time because it beats the purpose of having a mobile unit. The mobile unit, its sole purpose is to be mobile. Um, unless you have a really awesome location, it's your spot, it is your building, it is uh, maybe it's your property and you absolutely wanna have it there and you're gonna make it work and do whatever it takes, okay? That's one, mobility. I love food trucks for mobility. Restaurants can be a great, great, great source of income and a great, great, great source of, uh, uh, of business. And you have to build up a location. So you're gonna have to invest heavily in social media. That location, um, you're probably gonna require a long-term lease, three to five years. And it's going to be a do or die in terms of the location. Um, so if you're coming into a second-hand location, third-hand, fourth-hand, I would reconsider because what has caused the other tenants to leave the premises and that place being available for lease again, okay? That's one. Two, when you're considering a food truck or restaurant, you gotta consider the budget. A restaurant can be super expensive. I participated in the building of several um, restaurants, high-end restaurants, and we're talking about a million bucks to two and a half million dollars just in construction costs alone and um, versus a food truck where brand new truck brand new equipment can be at a maximum 150,000 depending on who you go to maybe 200,000 if it's a super 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 unique kind of build up etc but you're looking at $200,000 will get you a mobile food truck and then you have to consider a trailer you can get a trailer for as low as 25 30,000 depending on who you go to and so um, I remember when I was gonna open up a fast casual and we were going into another location. It was gonna cost us about $55,000 to get that place open. I don't know why it was available. We, the risk that we were about to take and we we're gonna sign a five-year lease um, really set us, uh, put us back and I said, you know what, I don't know if I wanna be able to be locked into one spot for five years. So we opted out, then we started building trailers, we started building trucks, we, um, and we've never looked back in terms of um, building the food truck concession trailers. But we have, I have a ton of customers that are uber successful out of a trailer and they're on their fourth or fifth unit 
because essentially you have a kitchen that you can use in any location you can move it you can go to fairs you can go to events you can do caterings and so for someone that's just new into the business and wants to start something and test the market a great way to test the market is a concession trailer or a food truck so we're looking at the initial investment right it's going to be a lot lower with a food truck on average fifty thousand dollars versus 150 to two hundred thousand dollars for a restaurant um, if it's a second location, second hand location. Um, and then you have the risks. The risks associated with not being able to um, develop a location. That location, you're gonna be kept there and you're gonna be there for, for, the, for the five years of the amount of leases, the amount of time that you sign that lease. And lease contracts are one of the most strict contracts in the market. So. Uh, I would consider double, make sure you, you think twice before signing a long-term lease. Flexibility, trucks provide flexibility. Um, look at what happened with the pandemic. Restaurants had to close, food trucks were allowed to stay open, anything that was outdoors were allowed to stay open. The food truck allows you to not have to serve customers indoors, then you have uh, the ability to be outdoors at any given time. So people love to be outdoors, especially after what happened with COVID-19. And mobility. Mobility is one of the key components of a food truck. So if you are new, let's say you just got, you just graduated out of culinary school, you wanna start your own business, and you're thinking about, okay, I wanna go and start my little restaurant, or I wanna start a food truck. You have to consider the risks, consider the flexibility, consider mobility. and yes food trucks may be hard to run because you have to go to commissaries you have to dump water you have to the space is limited but essentially you can test your business at a lower initial investment and it's a great way to gateway into a brick and mortar i've seen so many of our customers go from food truck concession trailer to a brick and mortar I've seen a lot of them come backwards from brick and mortar to food truck or trailer because their location uh, is dead. So if you have any questions regarding starting a food truck, getting into the market, how to finance a food truck, how to get started, consider where you're at, how much help you need and reach out to us and we'll be able to help get your food truck empire started. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Visit our website, which is going to be highlighted below, uh, www.trailerkingbuilders.com. You can play around with our uh, online quoting tool or our online uh, customization tool where you can customize your own trailer or food truck and get a quote sent to you instantly um, by playing around with the restaurant equipment, type of food truck, type of trailer, type of van, etc. Again, appreciate you guys following us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope this answers the question, but essentially, if you have the budget, start yourself a food truck, get yourself a concession trailer, and you'll be on the road to owning your own food truck empire. Thank you.